Striping your lawn can be a really fun way to do up the lawn really nice and kind of express your creativity. But there's one detail that you need to remember, particularly when it comes to mowing stripes around obstacles that can either make or break the pattern. Let me explain. So mowing a stripe pattern without any obstacles is pretty simple. You just gotta worry about keeping your pattern even and straight and all of that stuff, which I'm not doing the best job here. My yard is on a slope, so it's kind of hard to keep the mower perfectly straight in this area. It's a little bit easier down here because it levels off. But this pass I'm about to make right here on this light stripe is the important pass when it comes to mowing around this tree. Let me show you why. So if you take a look at what I've got going here, the dark stripes I'm mowing towards the camera and the light stripes I'm mowing towards my neighbor. Now I just came back this way with this dark stripe here and so now my next pass is gonna be a light stripe towards my neighbor. Well, the tree is in the way of this stripe so I have to be conscious of the stripe pattern that I'm currently working on when it comes to the decision as far as which way to turn when I get to the tree. So this is what you do. You mow towards the tree and then you look at the direction of your last pass and that is going to indicate which way you need to turn whether it be this way or this way. Now because I came this way on my last pass I need to turn left at the tree and come around the tree this way so that when I come around the tree, because I like to do a border around the tree to give myself room to turn around on the other side for those rows. So I'm gonna turn left around the tree and then when I come around the tree this way, I'm gonna go back over this line and not mess it up. Now if I were to go right around the tree, I would be going over this stripe here in the wrong direction and that would consequently put a light color right in the middle of this dark stripe. So there you go, keeping the stripe while at the same time working around obstacles. Now not all obstacles are equal. I have one other unique obstacle in my yard and that is this garden bed here. We call it the kidney bean garden because it's in the shape of a kidney bean. Mm. But mowing around this and keeping the stripes is still possible and I think it's kind of fun and I'll show you how I do that too. So after making the pass just next to the bed, I'll go ahead and do a border pass around the bed twice. But you'll notice on my second pass, at the end I'll make a sharper turn back next to the curbing and then get on the stripe that I'm about to mow next and flip the mower completely around and I end up right on that stripe. It's perfect. There you go, a quick little tip on how to mow around obstacles. It takes a little practice, but once you get the hang of it, it really just becomes second nature, and it's not as hard as you might think it would be. So I hope that's helpful for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do, and that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.